today what's up guys today we've got a comparison against the ipad mini and also the ipod touch we're going to do some geek bench tests and also some boot up tests so let's go ahead and jump right on into it So as you can see, we've got both of the devices right here. I'm just going to go ahead and do a geek bench test. Now I have sped in up this video, so I've made it twice as fast or whatnot. And um, so we don't have to wait and do all that stuff. And you will see in a second, the scores for the iPod touch fifth generation is the 32 gigabyte version and also the 16 gigabyte version of the iPad mini. Now, as you can see, we've got the iPad in black and also the iPod Touch in white. And we have a score for the iPad mini. And both of these have A5 processors. As you can see, we've got 754 and 626 for the iPod Touch fifth generation. So these both do have A5 processors. So that's just the scores, what they get for the Geekbench test. As you can see, I've just got a four all right there for you guys. Now, moving on to the boot up test, we're going to go ahead and just click both of them on, as you can see. And I did hit them at the same time. Um, I made sure I got them at the same time because I did it a couple of times to just get it right. And as you can see, the iPad uh, mini has booted up first. And then soon after, we get the iPod Touch. This might be because the iPod Touch that I've got right now has got loads of applications on it. It's a 32 gigabyte version as well. So just keeping them content on it, it might slow up. Uh, slow the device down a little so let me know what you think in the comment section guys and make sure you hit that subscribe button because you will be notified when i do upload a new video and if you want to check out some more ipad content click that image on screen right now it will take you to all the ipad mini videos that we are doing and there will be a link in the description as well so guys click the like button so it will help me out a bunch and i'll catch you in the next one